It's good YouTube, car if I can't hear Aqua Life Baby, you already know how it is. And so today guys, I uh, just want just came home from school to get something to eat before I go back to my late class. Um I wanted to talk about the brand new uh Aqua Force card that was um just revealed this morning in the uh card of the day um this morning. And uh just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it and what I think we could be getting. You know, this card might be able to dictate a little bit, um, help predict what we're going to be getting out of uh set nine. You know, I'm gonna be covering these Aqua Force cards as they begin to you know, as they roll out. So expect uh some coverage of the Aqua Force cards here. Now, <clears throat> this card is um Kelpie Rider Nikitas. So she's a grade two nine K. Awesome. Uh picture's cool too, by the way. Uh so her first ability is non-generation break, wave one or two, uh, you know, first or second battle for those who are, uh, aren't familiar with the wave mechanic, which is literally the same thing, doesn't, it's literally the same thing. Anywho, uh, when Azuna attacks a grade three or greater vanguard, she gets 2,000 power until the end of the battle. Now, that's very good, because now we have a, nine, a free 9k attacker who attacks at uh, vanguard and gains plus two, so we have an 11k attacker for free. Who can get better than that? Her other ability is Generation Break 1. At the you counterblast one at the end of the battle that's unit attacked a vanguard, you pay the cost of counterblasting one. And then you choose one of your other rear guards with the wave ability and exchange positions with this unit, and the state of this card does not change. So after you attack, she stays rest. Now, this what does this card remind you of, guys? This card reminds you of uh, Blue Storm Marine General Spyros. Who at the end of the battle that he attacked uh, an opponent's vanguard, you counterblast one and you can exchange positions with the card behind him in a way. I think, it was, but I think you had to counterblast a blue storm and you had to have a grade three vanguard for that to work. Uh, so she's a, a generation break, but much more improved version of him in a way. Now. The f now, the free 2k power, to me, is amazing. Um, it helps out with uh, a lot of things that can create different poke attacks and whatnot. Um, you know, being able to swap positions on the field is actually a, is, is very is very nice. Uh, you know, especially when you if you have cards like... Uh, it kind of reminds me of when we used to play uh, Wave Slashing Sword Max. It reminds me of, you know, Max's ability to do that as well. Um, but... The only problem is with that card is that we don't have enough wave ability cards right now. So that's what I'm saying that with this set, we might be able to predict that we're going to get a pretty good influx of wave cards. And hopefully we get an influx of quality wave support. Um, generally, the wave support is... Uh, is more or less generic, but I think that if we can get a good enough wave support, we can change up the Thava's deck. We could change up the Blue Wave deck, make it a little bit more explosive, make it run a lot smoother. Um, the, the Thava's deck to me is still, obviously it's Aqua Life, you know, it's very good, but it's been stagnant. We haven't had support for, you know, since last, since last, you know, mid, mid-ish December. Um, you know, so... I'm definitely looking forward to getting more support, more wave support. Hopefully, I'm all, hopefully get like a Thavis G so we can have some consistency with riding. Because if we don't ride our main vanguard, then it really kind of slows down the deck a lot. Especially if you're trying, especially if they want to push like um, namesake cards, uh, you know, cards that you know, if you have a Thavis vanguard, do such and such. If they're going to be pushing those types of cards, then. Um, I really think that having a backup Thavis G or something with Thavis in his name would be very uh, sufficient for us to have. Now, uh, back to this card. This card it, it out, is, 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 is not super good, but I think it can be helpful again. I think that with more support... Um, with more support, this card could get a whole lot better. Now, it does cost a Counter Blast, so that is something you want to consider adding to your uh, lineup. Ah! My hand is face now. Um, there was also another card revealed. Uh, where is it at? I don't know if it's a grade one or if it's a grade uh, two. Sounds like a grade one to me. But her name is Battle Siren Pantia. Uh, they don't have a picture. Um, Auto Rigor Circle Generation Break One Wave First or Second Time Only Counter Blast One. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets five thousand until the end of turn. Um, perfectly honest. I don't think that's a card we're going to be running, guys. It doesn't look like a card we're going to be running. Despite if it's a grade two or grade one, 
I don't think it's car we're going to be running. One, it's a counter blast in order to gain uh, 5,000 power. Second, it's, um, uh, you know, we wave first or second. So first or second battle, we have the counter blast to gain 5,000 power to do anything. Um, it sounds like a grade one car to me, but... Uh, I don't think it's a card that we're going to be running. I just literally that po the post just came up on my uh, Facebook. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, mostly the coverage was just for Nikita's. Uh, she's obviously the better card between both of them. But yeah, uh, Nikita's. I I think that she's going to have potential, but we need to wait to see what we get in set nine. And I think that a nice heavy influx of quality wave support cards. Not that one, but. You know, more you know, you know, more quality wave support cards would definitely boost up her usage and would spice things up with the deck. Give us more, maybe give us more options for control, give us more options for pressure, uh, give us more options for defense, uh, make things run a lot smoother. Uh, maybe a counter to, maybe a better counter to Link Jokers. You know, something. Uh, because we are missing a lot of things, you know, uh, not hitting triggers, not being able to defend and whatnot really hurts, especially against some of these other decks with their new support that are able to get off, you know, Aqua Force like attacks, you know, we used to be the multiple attack deck, but now you have decks like Saint Guard, uh, Night Rose, um, you know, Seven Seas in the way, or, or really just, you know, Saint Guard, Night Rose, uh, you know, and other things that were not predicated on getting multiple attacks off, getting multiple, even Link Joker Messiahs get multiple attacks off thanks to Awakening Messiah and the uh, and unlocking their own selves and whatnot. So, um, we need to reclaim that title again as the best multi-attack deck. Uh, so, hopefully the support set 9 will do us some justice. Alright, this is Carfrey Kingdom out. Peace.